Hello everyone and how is everyone doing? So today I'm going to show you on how to get from levels 1 to 99 in hunting the fastest way possible. As is the fastest way possible, I will not be showing you any methods that are really profitable, um, but you will get 99 hunting the fastest way. But I will make another video later on this month about how to make money with hunting, so make sure to watch that when it does come out. In the description below, you can find links to the parts of the video that might be more applicable for you. So in case you aren't starting off at level one, you can just quickly hop to the description below and click on there to skip to the part of the video that's best for you. But if you are level one, let's get started. From levels one till levels 13, you're gonna be feeding ogle roots to rabbits. This is a really fast way on how to get from levels one to 13. All you have to do is travel to any farm patch around RuneScape that has a leprechaun nearby. If you right click the leprechaun and click teleport, he will teleport you to a location where you can do this method. Once he has teleported you, you just travel south of the house and there you'll be able to find a dwarf that will sell you ogle roots. Right click and click buy roots and he'll ask you for the amount and just enter an amount that you feel comfortable with and he will sell you these ogle roots for 10 gold coins each. You will have to do this for a maximum of 12 minutes to reach levels 13, so it's a really fast way of getting up your levels. All you have to do is jump over the shortcut and then you'll find that there's around eight or nine rabbits in this area. I suggest that you run around and as you're running around, you feed the rabbits that you find. And when you go back to the same spot that you were at, you right click one of your friends and click world hop. Because directly you feed one of the rabbits, it will not accept any more food from you, so you have to wait for the rabbit to respawn. But I strongly suggest that as soon as you feed the rabbit, you move on to the next one, and you'll find that there's around eight or nine rabbits on each world, and then as soon as you have fed them all, change worlds, and once you've done that, just change worlds, and you'll be able to feed them once again. So it's a really fast way on how to get levels 13. From levels 13 to levels 29, you're gonna be hunting desert devils, and also golden warblers. You can hunt them both at the same time and this will give you around 20,000 experience per hour. This is the location, it is just right next door to the Dominion Tower. The best place to travel with this method is to travel to the Shantae Pass and then walk from there. As is in the desert, you're gonna to have to find a way of keeping yourself hydrated. So you can either use an enchanted water tiara, water skins, or wear a desert outfit to keep yourself hydrated for a while but you can also bring a bunyip and that'll be pretty much fine in the desert as long as the bunyip is still active for the time that you're here you'll be pretty much fine you'll have to spend here around 40 minutes and what you do is that you travel to this location you put up your bird snares and then you go around searching for the desert devil but whilst you're doing this you're going to keep a close eye on your bird snares to see if any birds come towards you and land on your trap. Because by doing this, you'll be able to gain around 20,000 experience per hour, and it's also really fast. As I've said already, you only gotta stay here around 40 minutes until you reach levels 29. So it's a really good place to be training at, and I strongly suggest you do this area. Don't forget also that at level 20, you can now use two traps, so you can put up two bird snares at level 20. Just in case you wanna bring a extra bird snare, just in case you lose one, feel free to do so, it would be no harm at all in bringing in an extra one, so make sure to do that. From levels 29 to levels 43, you're going to be hunting swamp lizards for two hours to maybe three hours, but this is also really profitable. I'm going to show you in the map real quick, and as you can see, there is the lodestone in Canopus, and this is the location you're going to be training at. You do require the priest in peril quest to travel here, and I strongly suggest you do this quest because the quest is really easy, and this is really the fastest way to train up your hunting at this location. This is 25,000 experience per hour, and all you need is some ropes and also some small fishing nets in order to train here. Don't forget that at levels 40, you can now use three traps, so that would be really handy when you reach level 40, and this is also really profitable. You should expect around 1 million gold coins per hour, so it's not bad at all, and as it's not bad and is also really profitable, you might as well train here because you'll find this to be really fast. This is all you have to do, set a trap with your rope and also your small fishing nets and you will be able to catch swamp lizards. So it's a really handy place to be training at. 
Once you have a full inventory of swamp lizards, all you have to do is once again teleport with your lodestone and head to the bank. And then you just run all the way around once again and head to the same place you were just at and start training once again. From levels 43 to levels 55, you're going to be training with the spotted kebits. The fastest way to get to this location is either using the lodestone for the eagle's peak and then traveling north or using AKQ Feyring code and then traveling east to the falcony area. Once you're there, just jump over the shortcut and then travel to the yellow dot on your mini map and there you'll be able to start falcony. All you have to do is pay 500 coins to use a falcon. And what this basically is, is that you use your falcon to trap down these kebits. So you're looking for the small brown ones that are called the spotted kebits. Once your falcon has gone to attack it, a arrow will come showing that you can now collect your loot or your, your kill. And this is really fast. You'll find out that this method is 35,000 experience per hour in hunting. But sadly, you will not get any profit from this. I strongly recommend that you use a bone crusher for some of these methods. Um, so you might want to use it or you might not, depending if you want to gain prayer or not. You'll have to do this for one hour and a half in order to reach levels 55. So it's a really fast area to get your levels up. Once again, we're going to be training in the desert from levels 55 to level 63. So bring some sort of hydration, such as an enchanted tiara, or water skins, desert robes, anything like that will be fine. We're going to be training slightly northeast of the Dominion Tower. And once again, all you're going to need is a few small fishing nets and some ropes. And we're going to be attracting the orange salamanders. This is 60,000 experience per hour, so it's really fast. And you're going to need around four to maybe five hours of constant training here to get levels 65 which isn't bad because now the levels are getting a lot harder to reach. So four or five hours is not bad at all for 10 levels. Don't forget also that at levels 60, you can now use four traps. So that will really help you in the future. From levels 65 to levels 75, you're gonna be hunting red chin chompers. All you need for this is some box traps and we're gonna be training slightly northeast of the Oglug lodestone. This is pretty much the fastest way to get here and also the easiest way. Just use the lodestone and you'll be able to arrive slightly northeast of this pond in the middle. Once you're there, just set up your box traps near where I am. And if you only have four box traps, just so set it up in a diamond shape like I'm doing at the moment. And this will be one of the easiest ways for you to keep track of all your box traps instead of just placing one here, one there, one over there. So just keep that in mind because this will really help. You find that this method is 80,000 experience per hour and it will take you 22 hours to reach levels 75 from levels 65. From level 75 to level 80, you're going to be hunting down red salamanders. This is once again using ropes and small fishing nets. And don't forget that at levels 80, you can now use five traps. So that's really helpful. So try and get your levels up to level 80 and then you can use five traps, which will really help you in the future. The easiest way to get here is using your Ring of Dueling and travel north of the Castle Wars to the same area that I'm in at the moment. As you can see, there's loads of areas where you can hunt down the red salamanders. Just make sure to keep track of all your red salamanders and this will be really helpful for you. It will take you around 6 hours to get from levels 75 to levels 80. And this method is 85 to maybe 90,000 experience per hour. So it's also really fast, so this is a perfect area to be training at. From levels 80 to levels 99, you're going to be training at the Herblore Habitat. Now this location requires a lot of stuff, which I cannot explain at all. It will take me about half an hour to explain the method to start training here. So I cannot say the method to train at this location, but this is the fastest location to train. I will show you a guide later on in the month about how to train here. All you need is a Witch Doctor's Mask or a Juju Teleport Bag to travel here. And then once you're here, all you need is some of the box traps, but for this specific area, and also a hunting potion to start to train here. Use your hunting potion on the red blossom, and this will attract for a limited time only the draconic jedinkos, which is actually really fast. You'll notice that this method at level 80 is 120,000 experience per hour, and then at level 90 is around 180,000 experience. 
And then once again at level 99, this is 220,000 experience per hour. People have been known to get up to 300,000 experience per hour. People have been able to get around 300,000 experience per hour. But to do this, you require the Zamrak Favor, the Scentless Potion, the Arctic Bear, the Striped Vines, the Enhanced Yakti Wand, stuff like that. People find it that you'll be able to get around 300,000 experience per hour. So if you do have these items, make sure to use it because it'd be really helpful. This method is 65 hours from levels 80 to levels 99, which isn't all that bad, you know, to get up to level 99. Doing any other method except the Draconic Jadinkos will take you around 30 or 40 hours more to reach level 99. So it's totally worth your time to start to train at the Jadinkos. So I wish you all the best. And this is my guide for 1 to 99 hunting. I hope you enjoyed.